Hi everyone, this is Diana of Diana's Dreams. I have a bit of an update. Um, first of all, this is where I'm going to be recording a lot of videos. I have a few backgrounds that I've ordered on Amazon so you won't be staring at a white plate of me, right? Um, this is a happy update to the Section 8 uh, apartment that I live in. I would like to uh, stay here at least another year and um, regrow my sewing business uh, with this channel. And um, I'm going to be combining the two in bits and pieces along with um, many other playlists because my life is too complicated for just one thing. Anyways, the update on this section eight. Um, they yesterday came and I rolled my eyes because the H HVAC cleaners came at 5 p.m. and they were done about 6.30ish to clean the HVAC system out. So we are doing much better breathing. My cat has been sleeping since and I haven't had to give him any of his allergy medicines or his uh, he always gets his LST and it's a cat vitamin, you know, but he hasn't had any, to have any of his other medications and I'm very thankful for that. He, um, at times was so sick he wouldn't even want to eat, you know, especially his dry food. And um, now he's back to eating. This morning he was back to eating a little of both. So he's hopefully on the mend. He's got an appointment this coming Friday at the vets for a follow-up appointment and um so he's okay I feel better I feel like I can actually breathe I don't know how else to say that but I feel like I couldn't catch my breath you know and now I feel that I can and I'm wondering if it was an oxygen issue in here you know oh man I, I don't even know uh, the cleaners, two nice uh, black young American guys, uh, very, very professional. Um, I only break this. I can see their handprints on the vents that they put back. But I've got a maintenance guy that I um, <laughs> It's going to get back up on that ladder and clean them things for me. I am woman, everything that I want comes to me every day. All I have to ask for it in God's name. Yes, I say. I'm happy. Uh, it, things could be a little better. I think that um, they're working on it. For, for the most part, I did ask about the refrigerator. That's like the bottom line must be in here. Uh, one closet door was, the accordion door was fixed properly. The other one, he attempted to fix it, but he didn't really have tools and he didn't have the tracking that said it needed. That bedroom tracking, uh, the bedroom closet door needs new tracking at the bottom. My question is, is how much do I want to fuck with something like that? It's been like that since I moved in and I'm going to be moving out shortly, right? It depends on how fast I can get myself situated with sewing business and um and perhaps this channel. I, I am not relying on this channel at all because I know what I can do with the sewing income, right? So um I have till March to decide whether I'm gonna stay here or not. That's when I have to resign at least. Sorry, the air just came on, so I'm gonna lean a little closer. I have till March to make um, decisions what I'm going to do and it's probably going to take about that amount of time to um, see a dentist to get my uh, teeth reworked and um, it's probably going to take a few months for that so I figure and it, I like it because it's I can just literally walk across the street and there is the dentist right and he's a really good really good dentist so um I know that I, I have a few things to do here while I'm here, so I've got to make the most of it. 
but in the meanwhile I'm sorting through all my belongings one area at a time in these five months and downsizing it because my intention is um let's see what we're we're about five minutes into this my intention is to eventually get my income together and move north and try to locate my daughter that is lost in Baltimore, addicted to drugs, and has been for, I don't want to dox her too much, 20 years at least. Her son is 16, yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I raised that son until he was seven. I, I raised the next child and the next child. <laughs> and then um, my second husband passed away and she was pregnant with the fourth child. And I left that home and decided that it would be good for me to put my hands in a perfect stranger instead of dealing with baby number four. Because I, I had a heart attack after my husband passed away and I couldn't no longer take care of three babies. And in fact, I, I asked social services for help before my husband passed away because I couldn't take care of three babies. My husband that was disabled in bed of heart failure and diabetes. His parents. <laughs> Running a sewing business in our home of altering wedding gowns and prom gowns and things like that. So there's people coming in, in our home on a daily. And, and my daughter is popping babies left and right and decided to get herself involved with my husband's younger brother and the two of them decided to be doing drugs together when I left them. And, and after my husband passed away, I took care of his, his stepfather who had uh, bladder cancer and had to have surgery to have his bladder removed before my husband died. And, and, and he ended up having stage four cancer of the bladder and it spread to his lymph nodes. And um, he was going by April. My husband passed away in December, late December. My husband passed away the day before my uh, grandson's birthday, the, the boy that we were raising in, as our own because she didn't want a biracial child. But he, this baby looked like my husband because my husband was Native American and, and um, they just looked so much alike. So everybody thought that it was our baby. And he was, he still is, and I'm waiting. Because it's two more years, he'll be 18 and I can re reconnect with him. That's a whole nother chapter. And I'll be back for that one because um, I lost a lot of grandchildren along the way, but not ready to talk about it. It's another day. Love y'all. Everything's fine here. I um I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay here, but I'm gonna be making decisions because um I, I don't like how this whole process of needing to get these maintenance sheets done for a year that it went down and I don't like the fact that I'm living under the roof of a company that has had uh, five regional managers now three property managers three leasing consultants and a partridge in a pear tree which would be the maintenance guy that's been here the whole existence of this building 
and his beautiful wife. Now them two are beautiful people. Oh, still struggling with the rest of them. And many of them are coming and going. I had nothing to do with them coming and going. Except maybe the number four regional manager. You just can't tell me you don't care who you call when I'm on the phone with HUD talking to you, man. You just can't do things like that. No. Sorry you lost your employment. Find another one. Sorry. This is what I've been going through. It's like, what are we tossing here? Eggs? I'm out. It's scrambled mess. Love y'all. Bye. There's, look, let me get, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to be right back. Be right back. This, this here was yesterday's message. See, it says November, November the 4th. Oh, okay, I'm going to read it to you. It says, look for heaven here on earth. It is all around you. Look for heaven here on earth. It is all around you. Which means, there, I always say coming in here saying this is a slice of heaven. But it's just a slice. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe I want to move a little closer to Palm Beach Coast. Because I'm five miles from the beach. What if I move a little closer to the beach, right? I, I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to do that. I, there's so many other things that I'm, I'm wanting to do. I, uh, made a list. <laughs> so, um, today's message, I, I, while we're here, right? Um, it says, and, and I'm at November, November the 5th. It says a devout life does bring wealth, but it is the it is the rich simplicity of being yourself before God. Hmm. A devout life does bring wealth, but it is the rich simplicity of being yourself before God that brings wealth. That's kind of true. Yeah. Um. I've learned to live and let go and give it to God because there's no way I could have wanted to handle all those employees, right? Um, I was like, Lord, all right, you put a light on this one, put a light on that one. And it just so happened that the right um, HUD employee called me and said, has, is there any updates? Has, have they done anything? I said, no, ma'am. So, he says, well, we're going to call the regional manager, and, and we did. And then, not only am I being told by property manager that the regional manager has been let go, but he's also wanting to do whatever I want to appease me. Even ask me, oh, do we? I didn't like that either. I mean, I've been subjected to a used refrigerator that has bugs in it and a um, maintenance man that doesn't come in to check anything on the monthly inspections and it got infected with uh, several different species of insects. I have pictures of in the fridge and the, uh, the, the seal around the door is still quite damaged and uh, have this property manager, the third one, asking me, do I want a new or used fridge? After I told him that I had to be under, I had to undergo anesthesia twice to get an endoscopy done to find out what's been making my stomach sick. So I asked him, which one's cheaper for you, a new fridge or a lawsuit? Yeah, they're working on it right now. So many things has happened. It's so it's those things, and I'm waiting to see 
It's also the the maintenance guy is looking at me like I'm his, his enemy now. And I'm going to be going to the property manager and say, okay, your turn. <laughs> because I literally had the maintenance guy go to the property manager when he got here and tell him not to say things to me alone with me in the office. You should not be saying things about my beauty and body parts to me while you're living with me in the office while I'm talking to you about a financial matter and I got a wheelchair in front of me and I'm quite vulnerable because I don't know you. And I backed down. I said, I'll be back Monday, man. It was a Friday afternoon. I, uh, I think I pretty much already answered myself that I'm moving on, but I'm not quite sure where. Yeah, I um, normally don't want my videos to run this long. I am quite happy. I am looking forward to the messages that God brings me each day. And every day is just a better day than the day before. And, uh... It's, it's, it's getting so better. I had someone ask me, this is getting into longer than I normally let the videos run. I had someone ask me um, to redo another tour of the apartment without me talking about it. And I agree, that's, that's a thing I could do. I'll be doing that shortly. I have a few videos scheduled to drop and um, I think that that's going to be coming out Friday. Um, it's already been done, I'm saying. But I have scheduled several videos up ahead except this one. This one is just uh, a update for November the 5th. And that the HVAC cleaning has been done yesterday. I am content with that content right now with the employees here. Um, can very content with my apartment. It's been all along I wanted it to to um be pristine, right? I've been fighting for it all along. I mean why why else would I complain about the exterminators spraying the sides of the refrigerator and destroying the paint? and the seal with the chemicals, you know? <laughs> I care about what I'm breathing too, yes, but I see a perfectly beautiful machine being destroyed by someone who doesn't care because someone else doesn't care to step in and come in with the exterminator and do his job, right? Oh, if they, uh, no, yeah, um, he's been here. This building's 12 years old. He's been with the company much longer. And when I first moved in, the first regional manager, the first leasing consultant, and the first property manager, two beautiful women, were both telling me, be patient with me regarding maintenance being done in the apartment. I immediately started saying, hey, the first week I was here, this ain't good, this ain't good, this ain't good. No, there's mice here. Um, they, they asked me to be patient with them because the building has been neglected for the past decade. And I'm like, okay, how is that happening? The man's not showing up to the plate to come into the apartment to inspect what needs to be done, to look ahead, and he could be doing the same sort of work to five, six different apartments at the same time, be fixing the same issue. He's fixing one catastrophe after another. He's not doing his job correctly. And he's up on the ladder telling us, right here, look, you don't open the vent that's right next to the HVAC unit looking for dust because there won't be dust there. It will be further away from the HVAC unit, right? So I knew immediately, I'm like, hey, you care to check the one over there? Let me check this one. While he's up on the ladder, he says to me and the leasing consultant, 
Oh, well, I don't want to interrupt the people's sleep, so I don't come up in your apartment. But the exterminator's coming in, and we know about their coming weeks ahead of time. So we know what day and time that they're coming. We can go to bed early. We can take a nap after. It's a cop out. It's an excuse. And that's all I've been hearing here. So that's why I'm saying, mm, I don't want to live around people and pull excuses and can't even step up to the plate, right? I'm only asking them to do the job right. That's all I've been asking all along. Just do your job. Don't con don't and don't try to say that I'm being aggressive towards you. Please. You a poster mom. Okay. And stop being aggressive, you know. Um, no. There's no time in my life where I ever had any issues with anger management ever. I'm sixty six years old. I've had thousands of people up have their children placed in my hand to care for them. Yeah, I, I got upset with that when they said that I was aggressive because I picked up my CPAP machine hose and as the, ma the maintenance guy's wife was getting sick because we turned the heat on, I picked up the hose I said, I'm on a CPAP machine for Christ's sakes. I threw the hose immediately straight down on the futon that I sleep on. And I'm comfortable in that, by the way. Uh, very much so. Because of the spine surgeries, I can only sleep back to side to side, not on my back. So having the futon and having the back support with it being in a couch position is so helpful for me. Um, but anyways, I, I didn't throw anything at them or towards them. I threw it straight. I picked it up with my right hand and I threw it straight down. And I looked at them and told them, I'm going to see Pat and for Christ's sake. Wasn't cussing at them. I don't think Christ is a cuss word. I don't think Christ is a cuss word. So, I know what the Lord is telling me to do. I know, he sees like mama. There's so many mountains. And there's not any mountains in Florida. And I think that's what I'm looking for. Mountains to climb. Take care of y'all. God bless.